Hi everyone, this is Tanya with Riley and Company. I get asked a lot how I color Riley, what markers I use, what paper to use, the colors, etc. So I thought I would give you a real quick, unedited video on how I color Riley. First of all, very important, I use a smooth paper because I always use Copic markers, so you need a smooth paper. And because Copics are alcohol, you need a good ink that won't bleed, okay? I use my Catherine Pooler Midnight. I absolutely love this ink pad. Oh, I have a little extra piece for you there. Um, we have this on our website. It's one of my favorite inks. You can also use Memento because it's a dye-based ink and Copics are alcohol. So... With the Copics, I always start with E33 for Riley. And I am not an avid colorer. Um, I don't have the patience to sit and take time and do it. And um, bless all of you that do have that kind of patience and makes our images look really, really gorgeous. I don't, so I go very quickly and I just outline Riley first. When you're using Copics, always make sure that you have an extra piece of paper. If you're working on a glass mat, you need an extra piece of paper to soak up the extra alcohol that goes through. And you'll see with his head, I just make a nice big circle. And if I go out of the lines, don't make fun of me because I'm going very quickly. And I always use circles with Copic markers because it helps them blend better. So when I'm done with that, I just pick up a dark brown. And in this case, it's usually E47 that I use. Any dark brown will work. And I use that for his antlers and his hooves. Oh, looky there, I did color outside the lines. Sorry, everyone. When my niece was younger, she was about eight, I sent her a card and she told her dad that that card must be from me because I colored outside the lines. So, you know, it's just how it is. Okay, so now I have my basic image. There, I hear from a lot of people that in order to give your Copic images depth and shading, you have to use more than one marker, one more than one color. And I'm old school, I was taught by Marianne that you can use the same marker to give depth to your images. So I'm using the same E33 marker and I'm going to pretend that the sun is coming from this direction. So I'm going to go underneath his chin, around the back of his body, okay, this leg, his little tail, and I'm going to do circles in so it blends with the rest of it, okay? Always use circles. I'm going to do under his arm. I'm going to do around the edge of his little head. I generally come in with his snout and make it dark again. But I can come back a third time and shade underneath there, and you'll see that. So I do his eyebrows, maybe a little bit of his hair. Then I'll come back again and come in and a third time. And you'll see, maybe under his arm, but you will see that you can do that and you can shade with just one marker and it looks fabulous, okay? If you desperately need a second marker to shade with, I would use E35, okay? And here's a little tip and trick for you. Did you know that the circle around a Copic marker is always the brush end? I did not know that for several years. It makes it so much easier. Then if you're going to use another color, go back in and gently shade the outside edge. Okay, just gently a little bit underneath. And again, this is just a real quick way to color him. I have seen people do beautiful things with my little moose and thank you so much for that. But this is just my way. I'm going to come back in and give my little antlers a little bit more depth there. And there you have it. That's it. That's the way you color Riley. Have a great day, everyone.